Regal Pharmaceuticals, Quick Logic Technologies, Greenland Technologies, stocks in the move on the 18th of February 2021. So quickly, uh, Regal Pharmaceuticals is currently up uh, 16% or thereabouts. Let's have a look. And, uh, it's up 17%, currently trading slightly above all of its trend lines, slightly above uh, its uh, volume weighted average price. We can see it gapped in the pre-market and uh, that is why we see this uh, sudden uh, rise. You know, so um, on other charts you see that there will be a gap and uh, which is, uh, which indicates that um, uh, there's a, uh, some data missing, mi missing from where it opened today and uh, where it closed uh, yesterday, the uh, 17th. So um, if we have to go on, uh, we determine that, um, yes, um, it has um, um, a, this uh, market cap of 765.5 million dollars in market cap and 168.981 million uh, shares outstanding. 78% of those uh, shares are held by institutions. And roughly this uh, short interest is probably uh, quite accurate to 12.41. So it's a good uh, short interest, a good uh, cushion. And so it's a healthy amount of uh, short interest. It says uh, to take about um, eight days to, cl uh, to close all of uh, those, uh, to cover all of those uh, shots going by its average. So it has, um, um, it has, it has reached this um, agreement with um, um oh, I guess with uh, Eli and he says uh, they it's an it's a global ex exclusive license agreement and strategic collaboration to co-develop and commercialize bright girls are uh, double five two a receptor in, interacting uh, serine thero nine protein uh, kinase one inhibitor for all in indications including autoimmune and inflammatory diseases so um, technically it appears to be in a strong bullish trend it's 200 day moving average is upward sloping and the MACD histogram is above above uh, zero yes this is the MACD uh, histogram that's it here it's above zero and also the uh, MACD is also above the signal line as well here and um, yes it's upward sloping the 200 day the trend line is also upward sloping So momentum for Rigel is strongly bullish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is rising as investors pay high prices for shares. Let's have a look. Okay, yes, the 14 period slow stochastic it, yeah, it is it is rising, yes, as investors pay high prices for shares. And um, I believe uh, the unbalanced volume indicator might be bullish as well. Okay, the uh, volume as measured using the on volume, on, sorry, on balance volume indicator is rising and therefore bullish. This is uh, because the because volume is greater on up periods than on down periods and implies that buyers are presently more active than sellers. Okay, so yeah, um, we just want to update you. Um, um, it's uh, yeah. I know normally on this ch channel we don't uh, we don't tend to cover pharmaceutical stocks, but you know if we diversify them, all the better. But um, the stock is rising, and um, I wouldn't uh, really um, encourage you to buy it right now that it is rising. Um, if you want to buy it, you know um, I'm not recommending really. So the 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 essence of this video is to just uh, bring to your attention what's going on right now. Um, so. The other one is um, QUI, okay, Quick Logic Corporation. Quick Logic is up uh, 59.19 percent. Quick, yes, it's um, it's cooled off a bit. It also had that gap as well. You can see that gap. It uh, started to gap in the pre-market, and so it's currently up 57.46 percent. So trading below uh, right now, uh, it's 10 day and 20 day trend lines based on this one minute uh, chart. So if we have to return and see what we can digest concerning uh, more technical uh, data. Yeah, 
so while we wait for that we just uh, continue to entertain ourselves with uh, what's going on here um, with quick logic it's up uh, 50 percent so, so indicating that um, yes it was uh, trading at uh, when it closed so it should be trading at uh, must have been trading at uh, five dollars or thereabouts so yeah so let's see if we have uh, been able to opt get anything yes so we have so it's uh, indicating it is 48% uh, that it is up by so um, it's uh, okay it's expecting um, it's uh, Q1 2021 earnings all right by by the 5th of uh, March the 52 week high was uh, triggered today price reached a new 52 week high of $12.48 this exceeds the previous high of $8.17 by uh, $4.31 and it is 489.46% uh, above the 52 week low of uh, $2.12. Volume spike as well today. Um, trading exceeded the 10 day average of uh, 1.99 million by 283.11%. It has a market cap of $79.4 million, 11.08 million uh, shares outstanding, 24% are held by institutions it's short interest doesn't seem to be that much and uh, quick logic appears to be in a strong bullish trend no doubt about that it's 200 day moving average is upwards so upward sloping and the MACD histogram is above zero so this is the MACD histogram is above zero absolutely and um, yes it's upward sloping it's not strongly bullish and upward sloping 200 day moving average equally upward sloping so momentum for quick logic as measured by by 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is waning this means that investors are, le are less aggressive in their recent purchases and may even be buying uh, may even be taking profits in positions but at lower prices so it's okay yeah we can see that it has tipped over the 14 period slow stochastic oscillator it, uh, it's no longer it uh, used to be uh, above 80 so it's currently now at 79.2 so yeah it last it's uh, losing some steam and then the volume as measured by the unbalanced volume indicator is rising and therefore bullish this is because volume is greater on up periods than on down periods and implies that buyers are presently more active than sellers um the unbalanced volume indicator is uh, is rising the bars, yes that's this one no doubt about that we can see it is strongly it's steeply or is steeply rising yes so yeah this is just to um you know interest you with what's going on um this the stock is up um, roughly 50 percent yeah and um let's move on to the next one which will be um green um, greenland technologies So while that is coming up, we go ahead and uh, find out what is going on here with it. So um, quick logic is uh, still up roughly, roughly 46%. So let's move on to Greenland Technologies. It's up 178%, um, 178%. You can see that gap as well. All of that uh, activity began in the pre-market session. So it's up, uh, yeah. 173 percent at some point i think it was even higher than 173 percent so but right now it is uh, currently trading below its uh 20 day and 10 day trend lines based on this one minute uh, chart so let's let's see what's whether we've got anything yeah so uh So a 52 week high was triggered today. Price reached a 52 week high of $26.42. This exceeds the previous high of $11.40 by $15.02. And it is 2,258.93% uh, above the 52 week low of uh, 
volume also spiked today as well trading exceeded uh, the 10 day average of uh, 17 million by 8,998 1,000.28% and it, it also crossed above uh, the 50 day um, moving average price rose through the 50 day moving average of uh, $7.71 all of the, all of all of the, all, the, all of this are, are caught today has a market cap of 76.7 million million dollars and 10.156 million shares outstanding and we can see that uh, has a very low short interest there's some news here says Greenland uh, Technologies signs deal with uh, China's uh, SOPA to support US production of electric industrial vehicles oh, okay so it's more of it of uh, the sort of stock we uh, cover here so we just uh, we're just covering stocks that are on the move at the moment so uh, hence where we are right on or right on point here so technically G Tech appears to be in a strong bullish trend it's 200 day moving average is upward sloping and the MACD histogram is above zero and rising it is also outperforming the uh, S&P 500 index uh, the MACD histogram is above zero and this MACD is also this MACD is above the signal line MACD here is above uh, zero yes it's above zero absolutely yes and um, I think also the momentum is also rising um, I believe let's have a look yes the momentum uh, for GTEC is strongly bullish the 14 period st slow stochastic oscillators rising as investors pay higher prices for shares we can see that yes so volume as measured by the unbalanced un volume indicator is rising therefore bullish this is because uh, um, <clears throat> volume is greater on up periods than on down periods and implies that buyers are presently more active than sellers so we can see the unbalanced volume indicator here yeah so yeah so um uh, well it, the, the essence of this video is to just uh, update you um that concerning uh, the stocks that are right now on the move and uh, greenland technology sounds sounds like an ev stock but um it's uh, getting too expensive you know but um, um i know um, a lot of uh, market participants these days want to get involved with uh, stocks that are you know largely um penny stocks and all that stuff in the bottom um i would i have no recommendation on this it's rising now you know i'm um, i would most certainly not uh, recommend that you buy it at uh, this uh, very hot uh, um activity it's it's uh, exhibiting at this very hot um, um, um at this sky high price you know definitely not 180 percent or thereabouts that's exactly nearly 200 percent gain so definitely not um you know so um just observe and see how it goes okay so if you're new to this channel subscribe like and share if you're already a subscriber thank you very much for sending our subscriber account uh, past uh, 1000 and growing but we also noticed that we had over 8000 uh, unique viewers over the last week on uh, this our channel so uh, if all those guys sub sub um, click that subscribe button we would have uh, a subscriber account that is way past the uh, um, 10,000 so okay so subscribe like and share thank you very much